Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about episode 2 of Steven Universe, Laser Light Cannon. We're introduced to two other characters that play out roles later on in the series. Mr. Fryman, who's in charge of the Beach City Boardwalk French Fry Stand, and Steven's father, Greg Universe. Greg owns a car wash which he runs, but he doesn't really live in a house, he lives in his van. Um, I speculate this because, and I think it's been stated in the uh, uh, another episode, that he doesn't want to interfere with Steven's, um, Crystal Gems duties, so that's why he lives in his van with, um, or any other car wash. Um, we learn that Steven, um, Mr. Universe, uh, married Rose, well, not really married, just fell in love with Rose and they had a child, which is Steven. Uh, Rose had to give up her physical form to make Steven, and that's why Rose is no longer around, but Steven still has her gem in his navel. Um, where his belly button should be if he was not a normal human. So, the plot of this episode is there's this big, giant eye in the sky called the Red Eye. And it's coming to uh, destroy the Earth, and um, Pearl thinks that the only way to stop it is with the laser light cannon that Rose owned. And Steven thinks that his father might own it because he, he has a bunch of junk in his storage unit. So he goes to visit his father at the car wash, almost get hits, almost get hit almost gets hit by a waffle iron in the face, and then they go to the storage unit. Um, Steven go, goes blunking in and looks for the, um, the laser light cannon. Um, and it's the cannon is actually activated by a special saying that Greg says. Um, this just shows how much Rose actually loved Greg, even more than enough to have a, a family with him. But this showed like Rose's relationship to Greg, and we're not even diving in later into other episodes, and that shows it even more. So, the, a certain phrase activates the, uh, the laser light cannon. So they, they drag it out of the storage shed, they put it, they tie it to the back of the van, and they drive it to the beach where they act, activate it, and they destroy the red eye. And um, they destroy some of Beach City as well, but ca ca uh, those are just small casualties compared to the destruction of the entire Earth. So... But the gems are victorious, and episode ends. It was a good episode. Um, if you didn't see the first one, it's still a good jumping on point. They haven't really dived into much character development yet. Um, basically, almost a lot of the se episodes in season one are good for jumping in and just watching, because there isn't really that much story-driven aspects behind them. Unless you get, once you get to like the later episodes, um, then the continuity starts to get confusing, because one episode, um, there might be, like, a pink line, and in the, ep the next episode, there's nothing, and it's like, wait, what happened to that lion that Steven had? So, depending on what episode you're watching, you might want to keep watching continually. And like I said, the website in my last video, the world of .com, has every episode of all the seasons, all 52 of them for the first one, and then, um, I don't know the a actual number count for the second season, but they have all of them on there as well. Uh, counting tonight's when it's actually af after airing, which I am excited to watch. Um, I love Steven, Ur Steven Universe, I'm a big fan. Um, so yeah, any ep most of the episodes in Season 1 are good jumping on points until you meet like c certain key characters, and you need to make sure you watch previous episodes before that. So, if, you if you're just like me, and you have nothing to do on a weekend, or on a, no like a boring college day, or after work maybe, even your kids will enjoy this. Just sit down, Maybe connect your computer or whatever you use to like stream things on, connect it to your TV, watch some Steven Universe, and just enjoy it. It's a good episode, it's a good TV show. Kids enjoy it, adults enjoy it. I'm 18 years old and I still enjoy it. The animation's good, and the story's really, really in depth now in the second season. So, that was, that was a little shorter than the last video, but I'm trying to shorten these down so that way um, I can make other things as well. So, next time, guys, we'll be looking at Cheeseburger Backpack, uh, episode 3, I believe. I'll make sure to, if I, when I rewatch them, I'll make sure to get the title right. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.